Did you know you can rewire someone's brain and increase their oxytocin just by how you're showing up? So your presence, your energy, and even your emotions don't just impact you, they actively shape the people around you. And this is because your brain has mirror neurons. So they fire not just when you do something, but when you also see someone else do it. This means that emotions, energy, and even nervous system states are contagious. This was first discovered in monkeys in the 1990s. Neuroscientists saw that the same neurons fired whether a monkey reached for food itself or just simply watched another monkey grab food. And our brain works in a similar way. And this is why when someone smiles at you, you feel the urge to smile back. Or when someone walks into a room really stressed out, your body picks up on it. And mirror neurons don't just help us understand emotions, they also influence oxytocin, the neurochemical of love, trust, and connection. So when we experience kindness and connection, our brain releases oxytocin, making us feel more safe and bonded. So what does this mean for you? Number one, that your presence shapes the people around you. So if you're doing a simple act of love or kindness or giving someone deep attention, you're boosting their levels of oxytocin, so they're gonna feel better. You're boosting your own oxytocin and you're also actively rewiring each other's brains. And number two, who you surround yourself with matters because your brain is constantly mirroring the energy of the people around you. So the cool thing is I use the Six app to measure this. So you can actually measure this impact with the Six app which can indirectly measure oxytocin and keeps track of your key moments throughout the day. So I know if I have a really good conversation or a small act of kindness, I can literally see this in real time in the app. 